it's me, Morena. I thought it would be fun to make miniature golf for my mini me. Today we're gonna make a golf club, a golf ball, and a golf pole. And the supplies that we need are green felt, a metal straw with a bent in it, air dry or bakeable clay, wooden bead, a pencil, scissors, paintbrush, any paint colors, and a shoebox lid. I'm using a plastic draft, but you can use any animal you want. This one's gonna be fun because you could put in different obstacles for different holes. First, we're making the club. I'm gonna move some of this stuff to the side. I have silver and black bakeable clay, and I'm gonna mix it together to make a darker color. Once you got the color you like, you wanna take a little bit less than a golf ball to make a teardrop shape. The next step is you wanna take the pointy side of your clay and stick it in your metal straw on the bent side. Once you shape it how you like, you can add some details with a pencil to add some groove. When you're all done, if it's air dry clay, let it dry, but if it's bakeable clay, have someone help you to do the instructions to bake it. This is what it looks like when it's all done. The miniature golf balls can be all different colors, but you might want to make a few extras in case you lose any. This part gets messy, so it's a good thing we put our paper down. When you're done painting them, let them dry completely. While these dry, I'm going to start on the hole. The next step is to cut your green felt into the lid. I already cut mine so it looks like this. What you're going to do is you're going to fold any side over and you're going to take the part where you want to cut it and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a little hole. Then you're going to put your glue in the shoebox lid and lay your felt on top of it. Smooth it all out and then let it dry. Have someone help you put a hole through your shoebox lid to where your hole is in your fabric. Now you get to paint your obstacle however you want. I have a draft and I'm painting it pink. When it's completely painted, you have to let it dry. I have one that I painted yesterday and it's already dry, so I'm gonna swap it out. Now it's time to assemble. You can glue your obstacle in place. When that's dry, your doll can start golfing. I made this wolf one yesterday and I want to see how it goes. Let's see if my mini-me can do it. I hope this inspired you. Bye!